Well, I know the day I got the call, um, that every mother has a hard time with. You know, there's been an accident, come to the hospital. The driver was actually going uh, pretty fast, about 75. Our car lifted off the ground, and when we came back down, we hit potholes and started to fish tail. We flipped over once. I lost consciousness, um, as far as I can remember, right before we hit. The back half of the car, all that was left of it pretty much, was the back seat in the trunk. I looked down and I saw that my right leg was broken and then my left foot was gone. I was on trauma call as an orthopedic surgeon and part of the trauma team. Alex had been in a car accident and he suffered some very severe injuries. He had had an amputation of his left leg and he also had a very um, severe open fracture of his right leg. So it's hard when you see you know, children and teenagers as trauma patients. I'm a father and I have three teenage kids and it always makes me uh, you know, feel a little different when I get a teenager or a kid in, uh, that's been in a bad accident. I was at UPMC Hammond for about six weeks. I was in the ICU for almost three days. He had to do some uh, temporizing fixation of his right leg in order to save that leg. That was my biggest concern. Actually, it wasn't the amputated leg, which most people would be worried about. I, I knew that would heal and he would do well. It's the other leg that he was able to save, but had severe injuries and that he's still rehabbing from that. But we were able to transfer him to Children's Hospital in Pittsburgh as part of our overall uh, greater healthcare system. Uh, we're very fortunate to have this large network of uh, kind of expertise to, to rely on in the region, and including Pittsburgh, uh, to be able to help care for patients like Alex. I almost had a near-death experience, so just live life to its fullest, be happy as I can, because that's, that's all there really is to it. Just being a positive attitude makes it so much better. I just thank them from the bottom of my heart for saving my son's life.